So here's a project that I can't stop thinking about and we're just going to have to try today. And worst case scenario, I'm about to ruin one of those pelican cases. So my first idea was mounting something like this with one on each side. And the one on this side fits really good. I like the way that sits. It's right under the handle. Right now I just have it bungee corded for a demonstration. But it sits under the plastic. It sits up against your little bracket there, which you know can be removed or modified. And it's up against that there, so that could be removed. But the problem is, when you go around to this side, the exhaust is in the way. So you can't just hang it under this little handle there. You would have to mount it out somewhere like this so you don't hit that plastic. It could be done, but it would have to be outside of the blinker. Whereas this one we can tuck under the blinker. So I think what we're going to settle with is one on top. So I think that'll look okay with just one case on the back. On my blue Tao Tao Thunder, the factory trunk that came on it, they're pretty much junk. And I had all my lunch and stuff in there one day going to work. I hit a bump. I guess the latch comes undone. Everything just flies out the back. And yeah, it's just like a flimsy piece of plastic. So the way these grooves work on the bottom, we might have to grind them down a little bit to get it to sit exactly how I want, which is no big deal. So overnight I took the Pelican case in the house and I shaved down these two strips, just those two ones. I didn't do these feet, so a little bit of a difference there. But one thing I noticed is the rack isn't even square flat, so if you put it on a flat surface, I think it's because of this front bar here. It's not completely square anyways. So you know. so now I think I'm going to mark on the rack where the bolt lines up in the slot and do it that way. But you can see those little lines there. That's where the bolt lines up in the slot. So the situation now is four bolts that I got are too long. Well, they just don't have enough thread because if they had more thread, I could cut them down. But the two inch seems like they'll work. We have one in and it seems pretty promising with just one bolt in so far. So I was just about to add a square plate right here because I haven't tightened down so much that it's warped it a little bit. I was going to add this because it would fit perfect. I could just drop it in, drill some holes in it, and then it would fix that bowing problem. But do I really want to carry around the extra weight? And it's probably, you know, good enough anyways. It seals and it hasn't fell off, so. So after deciding not to mount that, I thought about it all night. And I think I'm going to go to the hardware store and just grab a thin strip of metal, something like this. This is just a brace off a of heat shield. So we'll probably get rid of that if we have enough and then put a third strip there and make it all clean. So we just made the run to the hardware store for the final piece we need for our Pelican case mount. We don't really need it because the case is already mounted and works fine, but... So if you want to get a piece of steel like this, this is how I transported it home. I just sat on top of it. So the first piece I'm going to cut is 12 inches. And would this be easy if I got up and brought it across into the other shed and used the vise? Sure would. So to show you how much the bolts and the washers are curving down the pelican case, it's sitting right now, and you can see it touches on the outer ends and in the middle, and as you slide it, it'll clear right over those bolts, and then it hits the front ones, but that gives you an idea of how much it's bowing. So I was trying to figure out what I'm going to cut my next piece as, and I think I'm just going to do 12 inches. So far we got one hole drilled and then hopefully we put this one in and then it'll line up all nice nice. So the first strip worked out good. I have two in threaded just to hold it for now. And we're going to back this row out, mark it out, drill them, put them back in and then we'll do the same with the third row. So this is my TBR7 Pelican case mount. And I'll show you the inside. I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. I ended up using three pieces of steel across the bottom. 
threw a coat of paint on them. Came out pretty nice. Stickered it up. Stickers on the outside. And it's the perfect size for what I want it for. It fits your backpack, it'll fit sweatshirt. There's my tripod, it'll fit the tripod and the camera. So it's pretty big. I don't have the exact measurements with me, but. So it's a good place to put your rain gear and your backpack if you go somewhere. And it's just easier instead of carrying all your stuff with you, you can just throw it in the Pelican case, put a couple locks on it, because it's lockable and you don't have to worry about it. The best part about it is you can take it off and there's no modifications to the bike at all. There's no damage to the bike. So I'm pretty happy with it. It's the right size. It doesn't make the bike any wider, which saddlebags would make it a bit wider. So now all we have to do is go on some TBR7 adventures and accumulate some new stickers to put on it.